Hi Aquarius! Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and become a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, so good to see you. I really enjoy connecting with your energy and I'm so glad you're here today. So Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Northern Node, and um, Mars and Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, Jupiter. So keep in mind it's a general reading, it's a general session. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings. All that information is down in my description box below. Okay, so let's get into it. What's going on with Aquarius? This is a timeless reading. When you find it and it resonates, it's for you. Okay, Aquarius, what is going on? What's going on with Aquarius? I'm going to get an overall energy. Okay, we have purification. Ooh, that's an intense cycle, isn't it? Yeah, really getting focused. I think Aquarius is really getting focused and it's difficult. It's difficult because Aquarius, if, if Aquarius isn't one thing, it's busy. They're busy. Their energy is very, um, it's very expansive, like uh, Sagittarius in a way. Um, they ha usually have, I'm seeing like plates spinning, like, you know, when you spin a lot of plates, those people who spin plates on their you know, on their hands, on their feet, on their heads. Like I'm seeing a lot of plates, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of pots on the stove kind of thing. Like there's, there's just a lot going on with Aquarius. And I feel like the energy that's coming in for you is to really get focused and clear away the distractions, clear away the things that aren't really, um, working for you, aren't working in your best interest. You know, um, let's see here. I'm trying to find my cards where did they go okay let's take these we will do i had them here and now i can't find them okay we're going to use these love cards let's figure out what's going on for love for aquarius what's going on in love for aquarius okay we have when you pass from the world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those you love Okay, Aquarius, I think it's time for you to get serious about love. If you're with your person, I feel like they need more of your time. If uh, you're not with a person, I think it's time for you to open up to love. Okay, real love. The kind of love that will last a lifetime. I think that's really what this purification is about. It's about getting you into a place where you can really hone in on taking care of Aquarius and getting Aquarius what Aquarius needs, okay? And I feel like you need companionship. If this isn't a partner, if you have a partner, this could be you bringing in like a best friend, someone who's always going to be there for you. Um, it's really beautiful energy. So let's get into the love. Let's get into it. Oh, there are the cards. I'm going to pull one of those romance oracle cards here for you as well. Let's get some tarot. What's going on in love for Aquarius? Tell me, tell me. We want to know. Um, single Aquariuses, I think that for many of you, you've been working on things and not really valuing finding a partner, and now's the time, okay? Um, many Aquariuses, especially with the age of Aquarius um, beginning, and we're getting into that energy, I feel like after December, you're going to be really driven to do um your calling, what you feel called to do. You'll feel very activated. And I think love will help you. This person that's coming in for single Aquarius, I feel like they're going to help you. They're going to help you with this. Whatever that is for you, okay? Some of you, you guys want to have a family and they will want to have a family with you. This is your person. For others, you're with somebody right now and it's just, you need to give more time to your person, okay? They feel you as like a fluttering I uh, like dragonfly energy, like that, like a, um, what do they call those? Oh, the birds, a hummingbird, like a hummingbird that's always moving, always on the go. And they want your time. They want to spend time with you. It's like spirit wants me to bring that home to you. Okay. We have the 10 of Pentacles. Okay. Um, and this is in love. So this is someone who wants to build foundations. They want to build a family with you. Um, then we have the seven of cups as well. You may, this is your overwhelming energy, seven of cups. Um, just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff coming to you, a lot of ideas. It's like you want to dip your hand into each cup, but you just can't and feel a little overwhelmed. I think you need to slow down Aquarius. You need to take some time and slow down. 
Okay, we have two of pentacles. So there's that balance, calling for balance for Aquarius. Balance out your energy. It's going to make your love relationships so much more smooth. And that could be with family, friends, not just your partner. Love is every love relationship you have. I feel like there are people missing you. Maybe they didn't see you at the holidays or they're not going to get to see you and they're really feeling sad about that. Um, and for some of you, I feel like this is just, you getting balanced, slowing down, take a nap, Aquarius, eat some pie, you know, take a walk, look at the sun, life is to enjoy, you can't have, your energy is so mentally busy right now that you are not giving yourself a break, you're not giving yourself time to sleep, you're not giving yourself enough time to take care of yourself, so you may begin to really burn out and get into this element of overwhelm we don't want that so it's time for balance okay we we work and we play we rest and we're active we do both things not just one it's not okay if you're not sleeping aquarius it's not okay ten of cups here ten of cups that's coming you got two tens here in love this is coming for you aquarius happiness happy family partnership fulfillment. I mean, this is what you want in a love reading. You want this, okay? So good things happening happening, and manifesting for you, but you've got to slow down and take care of yourself. You're clearing the way with this purification, okay? You're clearing the way for this Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles is about wealth, but I feel like it's also with the Ten of Cups here, I just feel a lot of foundational energy, like building a big foundation for something massive. Um, but it, all of that really is depending on your balance, balancing out your energy, Aquarius. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. And I'm feeling like for you, it's really important that you're strategic with your energy. Like you put your energy with intention, okay? Instead of this busy, busy energy that I'm feeling with the Seven of Cups here, I'm feeling like it's really important that you put your energy with intention on things, okay? That's the that strategic element here. And I think for some of you, there's somebody watching you. You have a secret admirer. You have somebody watching you online. You have somebody watching you in person who is very attracted to you, okay? But they can't quite figure out how to approach you because I feel like to some people, you seem almost unapproachable. Okay, we all know that's not true, Aquarius, but I feel like it's just where your mind is at. You're on big thinking. You're thinking on a big, massive level right now because you're connecting with this universal energy, okay, Aquarius? Big, huge, massive changes coming through um, in the next few years, and you are a part of that, and it's time for you to figure out how to balance out your energy so that when all this big, beautiful energy comes through, you're not frazzled. You're not full of anxiety. You can kind of slide into it. So that's what this time of purification is about. It's also about you finding your person, place, or thing that makes your soul just, just soar. Okay, let's get into your money and career. Let's talk money and career for Aquarius. Money and career. Money and career. Those flipped, but we're just going to keep going. Okay. Go ahead. Shuffle it up some more. Money and career for beautiful Aquarius. Money and career. Oop, 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 oop. Not going to take those, but I will take these. We have the Eight of Potions and we have the Ten of Presents in money. Okay. Ten of Pentacles came out twice. Okay. In love and now in money. So Aquarius, there is something that you're doing or you're going to do or you're on to that's going to bring you money. It's going to bring you abundance, okay? I feel like the universe wants you to know that you're going to be taken care of. It's all going to be okay, all right? Really. And you can safely move towards the things that make you happy, the Ten of Cups. You can safely move towards it. That energy, that Ten of Cups energy will bring forward this Ten of Pentacle energy, okay? Okay. You may be working on a business or big career foundations right now. Uh, with the Eight of Potions, I'm feeling a lot of uh, movement towards you. So if you're looking for clients um, and opportunities, I feel that coming towards you. We just have to be patient, okay? This, this kind of stuff doesn't manifest overnight. Okay, I got two cards here. We have Temperance. So being divinely guided, uh, a lot of angelic energy around Aquarius right now. Um, and then we have the Knight of Needles, which is the Knight of 
Swords, the most aggressive knight in the deck. I feel like there is a lot of really good, positive energy in your career sector. I feel like you're going to have some inspirations that you're going to be guided to act upon, okay? Um, and I feel like it's going to narrow your focus. I'm picking up on the flow of this water here. We have water. I feel like there's just like an energetic, creative dam that's going to break for Aquarius. And you're going to feel really inspired. But more so, you're going to be able to take that inspiration and focus it intensely on what you want to create. It's beautiful. This is you coming into the artistry of being a master manifester in your own life. Okay, I got two cards. I'm going to take them both. We have the Queen of Presents. Okay, this is success. This is single parenthood. This is someone who can take care of themselves and others. This is someone who is both intuitive and healing, balanced. There's a lot of balance here. And then we have the Three of Candles, so a Three of Wands. I feel like this is something, this abundant energy, this knowing how to move through your career um, is something you've been planning and working for, and you know it's coming. A lot of Aquariuses know this good thing is coming, but you're getting distracted by the process. And don't get bogged down in the how. Just do as you're guided and allow this flow of abundance to come to you. I feel like for a lot of people, when abundance starts to flow, um, they block it by thinking, well, what if? Oh, no, maybe this, maybe that. No, 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 no. Don't maybe it. Don't but it. Just allow it to flow into your life. Honor the flow of this energy and you'll be really surprised how fast, how quickly it manifests for you. Um, if you're in a small business or you're going to create a small business, I feel like there's a lot of energy right within our collective that's going to support small businesses. Um, and I think really that's the wave of the future. I think a lot of people are going to be working for themselves because a lot of jobs that we have now won't be around. Uh, and this is in the future. Okay, so we're getting ready for these changes for these changes in society, for these changes within our heart. And Aquarius, you're like um, a forerunner of this energy, okay? So it can be a very overwhelming time, but lean in to your strength. So, you know, lean into that optimistic attitude. Lean into your etheric connections. Lean into your spirituality. Lean into your practice that practices that you already have that help ground you and keep you present in the moment, Okay. All right, let's see what else we can get for you. We'll get a few cards here to wrap it up. Let's see here. We'll get the animal, <clears throat> the animal spirit oracle. Okay. What else for Aquarius? What else do we need for Aquarius? Okay, I got three. That's what I wanted. So, oh, four. Well, we'll take them though. Okay, we have the abundant universe will provide. Stop worrying. Stop fretting. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop thinking about what if. Stop thinking about but. Just know you've been provided for and you will continue to be provided for. Just continue your journey. Focus this powerful force of creation within you and allow it just to flow and have expression. We have 10 to the small things. Okay, Aquarius, there may be some clutter that you need to clear out. It may be mental clutter. It may be physical clutter. But get your spaces cleared so that when this energy comes through, you're ready. You're ready. You're on the mark. We have be at peace. Be at peace. The abundant universe is going to provide for you, Aquarius. So don't worry. Don't worry. You're going through a process of purification right now, and some things have to be done, okay? We have turned knowledge into wisdom, okay? So you've gained a lot of knowledge from all, all this busy energy. That's what you've been doing. You've been gathering information and knowledge, and now it's time to apply it to your life as wisdom, okay? And move forward knowing that it's all going to be okay. The universe is supporting you, and uh, good things are coming. So relax. It's going to be okay, Aquarius, all right? Okay, Aquarius, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it if it did or it didn't resonate, please let me know down in the description box below. I really enjoyed reading for you, and I hope you have a beautiful day. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, and hit that little notification bell so you're notified of all my future content, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.